Hi friends, this is tech expert Neil and you are watching howisol.com. In today's video, I'll be covering a very basic topic that is how to transfer files from your pen drive to any computer, a laptop or a desktop. We'll be creating more such basic guides for first time computer users. So without wasting much time, let's get started. The first thing required to transfer files from your pen drive to your PC or your PC to your pen drive is to connect it. To connect it, you have to know which type of connector it, is, it uses and how to expose that connector. Pen drive, as you can see, come in different shapes and sizes. Some of them can be connected directly without anything. There will be no cap or something like that. Some have got some have got this kind of mechanism of exposing the connector. Others have got a sliding mechanism like this. And some have got dual connectors to connect to different devices. So this pen drive has got a connector to connect to a mobile phone as well as PC and some have got a cap like this. So basically you have to first expose the connector that is the step one and you have to know which type of connector is you required to connect a pen drive to a PC. So we'll be looking at USB connectors. Currently there is a type C USB also available but this kind of connector will not be covering. So this will be the normal USB connector. One more thing that you should know about the pen drive that you are connecting is the size of the pen drive. In most cases, the pen drive size will be mentioned on the device itself. In this case, you can see this is a SanDisk pen drive. At the back of it, the size is mentioned. You can see over here, it says 4 GB. This is important because when you connect the pen drive to a computer, this will the size of the pen drive will help us to know which drive it is. Similarly, if you check this SanDisk pen drive, which is a dual pen drive, you can see it's focused. Over here, it mentions 16 GB. So when you connect this pen drive to a computer, you should look for a drive which is less than 16 GB. It will not show exactly 16 GB, it might show 15 GB or 14 point something. It would always be lesser than the size mentioned on the device. You can see over here that this is the kind of structure it has on the pen drive end. I'll show you how it looks like on the connector end shortly. So you will have to connect this pen drive at a particular direction which matches the slot in your computer. So I'll show you the slot that is available on the computer. So this is how the slots look at the computer end. You can see this matches this slot. You have to place the pen drive in a particular direction to match the slot. So the whole side will go in the filled side and the whole side in this will go in the filled side of this. So you have to place it like this. And when it goes completely inside, it's connected to your computer. The other way around you cannot insert it because it doesn't match like this. And there are different kinds of ports available on your computer in the same type of slot. So basically there are two types, it's USB 2.0 and USB 3.0. In either of the ports, your pen drive will get connected and you can transfer the file. But if you have got a USB 3.0 pen drive, it is good to connect it to a USB 3.0 port if your computer has a USB 3.0 port. The reason for that is you will get a higher speed when you connect a USB 3.0 pen drive to a USB 3.0 port compared to connecting a USB 3.0 pen drive to a 2.0 port. Also, it might happen that when you connect the pen drive, the computer does not respond like it doesn't detect anything is connected. You should hear a sound or there should be some, some changes happening on the screen. But sometimes it might be possible that the port in which you have connected is not working properly. So if that is the case, try switching to different port and check whether the, your pen drive is, is detected by a computer or not. Once you know these basics, now we'll move forward and we'll connect the pen drive to a computer and we'll look how you can transfer files, delete files, and move files from a computer to a pen drive or from a pen drive to a computer. Okay friends, now we'll connect the pen drive. Once you connect the pen drive, your computer will show a, a pop-up message as well as you'll hear a sound if the speaker is switched on. So now let's connect it. Let's see what happens. You hear that sound? That sound is given when a USB device is connected. And here you can see over here the USB drive, it has detected a pen drive. And it has also mentioned the drive letter. You should keep that in mind to know exactly which drive is your pen drive. So we'll now open this PC to locate our pen drive. Type in search this PC and click this. 
Okay, so you can see there are multiple drives on this system, but as mentioned in the pop-up message, the USB drive E is our pen drive. Now once we know that this is our pen drive, you can double click it to open it up. So these are the files that are already present on the pen drive. We'll first delete all the files so that we get a clean folder. Select all the files. You can press Ctrl A and to delete just press the keyboard key delete or you can do right click and then click delete over here. It will ask you to confirm whether you want to delete the files or not. Click yes and then the files will get deleted. Let's learn how to transfer the files from your computer to the pen drive. Once you have connected the pen drive to your computer, the next thing is to go to the place from where you want to copy the files. Like suppose you have downloaded some files from the internet in your Chrome browser or any internet browser, then usually it is placed in the downloads folder over here. So from here we'll be copying the files. Once you, So you have to open the location and then go to the file which you want to copy, hover your mouse over that file. And once it's selected, you can right click and then select copy. Or you can hover the mouse and then press the keyboard shortcut for copying a file that is Control C. So I'll do that. If you want to select multiple file, then you can either drag the mouse like this, press the left key and then drag the key pressing and drag the mouse like this. And then you can select the files like this. If you want to select all the files, then as mentioned before, the keyboard shortcut is Control A. Or you can press the Control button and then hover to the particular file that you want to select. So suppose I want to select only the first, second and the fourth file. So you can hover the mouse over here, click it, left click it and then go over here, left click it and then go over here while pressing the Control key. So this is the different ways in which you can select files. Anyway, so we will copy only a single file right click and copy or control C. Now we want to transfer the file to our pen drive. We already know the location of the pen drive that is the E drive. You can see over here the that drive is mentioned over here. So simply click over here and then to paste the file or to transfer the file you simply have to do right click and paste or the keyboard shortcut for it is control V like that. So like that it will get transferred. Now sometimes it happens that you want to delete the file from where you have downloaded it. Like suppose you have gone to cyber cafe and you have downloaded the files and now you don't want the files to be present on the computer and you just want to move the file. That means from the original place it has to be deleted and in the pen drive it has to be copied. So for doing that there is a single command it's called cut. So simply again go to the downloads folder and suppose you want to move this file, this file to the pen drive and delete it from this location. So select the file and then press Ctrl X and to transfer the file the command is the same. We have to paste it. But instead of copying the file we have cut the file so the file original file will get deleted from the original location. So we will do Ctrl V to paste and now if you go back to the location from where we have cut the file you will see that the, the file is not present anymore over here because the file has been moved to the new location. You can also create folders to organize the file by right clicking and then select new and then folder and you can type it any folder I'll name it documents and then to move the file in this simply select the file and drag it and over the folder and it will say do you want to move the files to the folder so you can drag and drop files like that. I'll copy a larger file so that we can see how Windows shows the animation when the large file is being copied. So I'll simply again copy this file. This is a video file. It will take a longer time. So now same thing, Control V. And you can see over here, this is the animation that Windows shows when a file is being copied. So once this process is completed, then you can remove the pen drive from your computer. But do not try to remove the pen drive when some files are being transferred to your pen drive, otherwise the pen drive will get corrupted. So always keep that in mind. You can cancel this copy by clicking over here and you can pause it by clicking over here. Okay, now the file has been copied. Once the operation with the pen drive is finished, you can simply remove the pen drive from your computer. The better way of doing it is to select safely remove USB drive from your computer and that option will be shown down in the status bar. You simply have to click over this pen drive icon over here, right click it and then select eject. 
and then it will show it's safe to remove your hardware sometimes what happens is when some software is using the pen drive not writing any data but reading the data then this particular option fails it shows that the pen drive cannot be ejected because it is still in use so if you are sure there is no write operations happening and the files that you have transferred to the pen drive has already completed then you can remove the pen drive even if you are not able to eject the pen drive safely i hope friends you like this tutorial if yes smack that like button share this video with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel howisall.com we will be posting more such basic computer guides for newcomers keep watching howisall.com